Hey guys, John here with GeoDroid John. I have the Tron CXY or Tron XY X1 and it's still printing. It's doing a great job. I'm actually on my fifth plate when it comes to the clock. So I have all the pieces here for the clock. Still working on some of them. I started with, what did I start with? Yellow. I made the Benchy. And then I transitioned, did all these little small pieces in yellow and then orange and then to blue and blue was almost up so I actually started with gold so it will have a layer of blue and then a layer of gold it's gonna look so weird I'm gonna love this little machine but I just wanted to show what gold looks like gold to me god damn the printer um, gold to me looks really good with mechanical looking parts it looks like brass and I have to say that I think the print quality is actually getting better with every print. The, Z the Z-Bolt wobble is missing. Let's see if follow that. So it looks really good. I'm very impressed with this machine. You can check out the other videos I have in the link or in the description somewhere near this video. This machine is a little rock star. There are a few things I don't like about it though. The clickiness of the buttons. Sometimes it misses. Sometimes it misses the buttons and you have to double click on it. Not a big deal. I also don't like that the box is not integrated into the design of the machine itself. That does allow for some more freedom, but I would like to see an on like underneath. Now you can go to Thingiverse, and I probably will download and print a case that you can actually mount to the bottom that will actually mount all of this together, which makes it look even better. So, hey, what's up? Chilling. So, I don't like that the box is external. I don't like the clickiness of it. I do not like the belts that they provided. These belts are just plastic. I've never seen plastic. I think these are T2.5 belts. Compare that to something like what RepRap used to use, which are these reinforced belts. These, fa these are rubberized fabric. I don't know. They got reinforcement in the inside of them. These are better. Better. These are better belts. Nice strong ones. And when we first started 3D printing, this is what we were using. This style of belt. <laughs> so we've come like a, a long way. Don't look at that. Don't look at that stuff. This is my junk drawer. So... Don't like the buttons, don't like the external box, don't like the belts. I don't like that the filament always, 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 when I try to load it, gets jammed in there. I can never load that filament without, un without unscrewing this Bowden tube. Every single time I have to. So, those are a few things I don't like about this machine, just so for fairness compared to the other video. So, just a quick update, it's looking good. I'm really. I'm really liking this machine and only time will tell on how it does in the long run. So I'm going to wrap up the video, but before I go, I just want to say, hey guys, throw me a like. They're free and like all my self-esteem is thrown into those likes. You make my day when you get, throw me a like. Appreciate it. Throw me a comment. Tell me how much I'm, I suck at this or how good I am or whatever. I just want to see some interaction because I feel like I'm alone out here just shouting into the void. So please. Leave a comment for a brother. I just want to get in. I just want to talk to other makers. And then, if you're new here, which 89% of you are, I do pay attention to analytics. Throw me just to subscribe. I'm uploading some good content. I got some more videos coming up. They're not all like this. Uh, that's all I got. If you guys have any comments, please. I want to talk to you. If you got videos, I want to see them. Okay, people. Have a great day.